Oh, sorry, I was just admiring the view and having some tea. I'm Jiso and welcome to Hogwarts Legacy. In this video, I'm going to tell you why you shouldn't buy anything from Augustus Hill. He's, um, he's a scammer and I'm going to tell you why. So here's the thing, I am right now level 30 and I've been doing a lot of exploration and I can confidently say that you do not need to buy any kind of gear in this game. Just by exploring and completing missions, you're going to find so much loot. Like on a single mission, you can find what, 10 pieces of gear. And again, the rarity is always going to change from rare to common to, you know, epic to legendary. Legendary being like the highest tier. And I know it's tempting to sometimes go into the shop, you see something which is, I don't know, appealing and you want to get it, then maybe it's better than the gear you have. But chances are, the moment you buy that thing and you go out there, you're going to find something which is already better than the gear you just got. And that was, and it ends up being a waste of money. So here's the thing. There is that annoying thing they decided to do, which is not giving us storage. Like, we don't have a safe, we don't have a way to store our gear. So, chances are, 9 times out of 10, you're going to see that icon which tells you that you cannot pick up any more gear, so you have to sell them. My advice is to sell anything you have which is not legendary. Because you're going to find, again, the moment you venture outside, you're going to find something better and you don't you you want to be able to pick up everything you have especially when you are in, on a mission you cannot just back out like you want to make sure that your gear i mean you can always pick up some gear and also complete those merlin um trials to expand the storage you have from the start and i think i can give you three more reasons why you should not buy anything so first of all you can upgrade your gear later in the game you're going to unlock the ability to upgrade your gear but you don't upgrade the level or that gear that you cannot change you can upgrade one stat which is either defense or, or offense like you're going to be able to change how much damage you can deal or how much damage you can withstand and that's it and also you can i'm going to call them mods you can add some mods to a, a gear piece just to make it better but here's the thing, you cannot switch mods around. Like once you put one mod on one gear, that's it. You cannot change it. Let's say for example, you had one other gear which had no, you know, no, no mod whatsoever. That you, you, you have to get a new one. You cannot just switch that one thing you like and put it on that other thing which doesn't have anything. That's not how it works. So every single time you, you get some gear, you have to commit to that and never buy anything because the moment you buy it's like it's going to be like a wasted investment so do not buy just focus on getting better gear while exploring and whatever you can upgrade that gear but even while upgrading you don't want to just go you know all the way because if you do that then you're going to realize hey i have that other thing which is better and i just spent all my resources on upgrade that one thing and i regret it now i don't want you to regret anything Another reason why you do not want to invest your you know, hard-earned money into buying gear is because you have all those other things, all the items like recipes, spellcraft, and that you want to buy. And those things are not cheap. And those things actually matter. They're going to change the way you play the game. You can maybe brew some potions or just get some materials. Materials you're going to use um, to upgrade your gear. So those things are head expensive and you do not want to invest like what 20 i mean not 20 two thousand coins just to get those outfits just to realize that you don't need them anymore or you don't have the resources to upgrade them but 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 i reckon there might be a reason why you want that one piece of gear to begin with maybe just because it looks nice you know you want that drip it's all about it's not it's like hogwarts legacy drip edition so you want to look nice i understand here's the thing but just listen to me the way this game works is particular if you want to change because you can change the the appearance of your gear even if you wearing something else and then this i really like and it means that the game is going to keep all those appearances even for the gear you no longer have so you're free to sell like what 100 pieces of gear but you're going to keep those appearances for those 100 100 pieces of gear and here's a cool story 
So I went to Augustus and I saw that one legendary gear which was appealing and I thought, well, I don't think I have it yet. So I bought it at 500 coins and I didn't even try it because I knew, I understood that I don't need to have that to have the appearance, to be able to switch to that appearance. So I resold it and here's the thing, I sold at a loss at 200. I didn't even wear it. I didn't even try it. And I was just there. I was in front of him and I sold at a discount. So even if you end up buying something, every single time you, you sell back, you're going to lose. So again, don't buy gear. Just invest your hard, very hard earned coins into recipes and bring, I mean, to brew potions or spellcraft to craft some other things. Like just do that and I, I promise you're going to feel way better about your money again i'm like your <laughs> your personal advisor so listen to me i know what i'm talking about maybe i don't know just maybe so i'm going to see you soon i have way more content about hogwarts legacy and well i'll see you around again don't give your money to augustus it's a scam